5 Most Dangerous Animals in Florida There are numerous animals that are capable of causing you harm in Florida, usually by biting you. Some animals use venom, while other dangerous animals just have big teeth and strong jaws. However, most of these dangerous animals want nothing more than to be left alone and will not attack humans unless they are startled, feel threatened, or are trying to protect their young. If you respect them, they are very unlikely to attack you. Some animals, such as the Florida black bear and the Florida panther, have suffered from shrinking habitats due to human encroachment over the years and are now endangered species. This means they are more threatened by us than the other way around. Still, you should take extreme caution if you come into contact with any of the animals in this video. Below there are 5 most dangerous animals in Florida. Here's we go. Number 1. Spiders. There are two particularly dangerous spiders that can be found in Florida, the brown recluse and the southern black widow. Neither are outwardly aggressive towards humans, but they will bite if threatened. The brown recluse. The brown recluse spider, also nicknamed the fiddleback spider, brown fiddler, or violin spider, is one of the most dangerous animals in Florida. It may be small, but it has a venomous bite that can put you in the hospital or worse. This spider has picked up the unusual tendency of playing dead, meaning as long as you're within their field of view, their eyes are on top of their heads, so they can only see above them. You can poke at one as much as you like without it moving. The danger is when you're on their level, and they suddenly become active again. The spider's name comes from its tendency to seclude itself in dark recesses, such as damp piles of leaves or crumpled clothing, and shoes that have been left untouched too long. Your chance of encountering one is Florida is relatively small, but you should always be aware of the risk, as the consequences of a bite can be very serious. The Southern Black Widow Southern Black Widows are much more common and can also be quite dangerous. Female Southern Black Widows are bigger and far more venomous than males, and can be identified by the distinctive red hourglass markings on their backs. Interestingly, the Southern Black Widow has a complete hourglass. Whereas other species hourglasses can range from connected or separated triangles to nearly indistinguishable red spots. Male southern black widows don't have the trademark red hourglass shape at all but may have some red spotting. While males survive a mere 2 to 5 months, females typically live to the ripe old spider age of 1.5 years. Females also weigh about 30 times more than their male counterparts. These spiders' webs are often three-dimensional and chaotic looking, unlike the classic flat, circular web pattern of many spiders. They generally frequent wood and rock piles, hollow tree stumps, garages, and basements, among other similar places. Number 2. Florida Black Bears The Florida Black Bear is the largest land animal that you will find in Florida. They live in wooded areas. Although they were quite common before the arrival of Europeans in Florida, they are now an endangered species and are rarely seen. Many of the state's remaining black bears are killed in automobile accidents. This is largely due to these bears losing their fear of people and becoming habituated and food conditioned. Once this happens and they begin wandering into residential areas, it is highly likely that they will be killed if not by vehicles then by illegal shooting or bear management actions aimed at protecting communities. Preventative methods, such as using bear-resistant trash containers or putting your trash out the morning of pickup rather than the night before, can help keep both bears and people safe. If you live in an area with lots of bears, even if they aren't Florida black bears, it would be wise to consider putting some of these methods in place. Number 3. American Alligators These large, water-dwelling reptiles pack a powerful bite and should be treated with extreme caution. They will almost always seek to swim away if approached, but I wouldn't recommend taking any risks. If they think their young are in danger or they feel threatened in some other way, they are capable of striking out. They have also been known to mistake pets and small children for prey. These reptiles should not be confused with crocodiles, although they can appear similar to the untrained eye. The easiest way to tell them apart is the snout, which is wider and rounded for an alligator, and more pointed for a crocodile. Crocodiles are also only found in the southernmost tip of Florida, 
whereas alligators can be found across Florida and the southeastern United States. Crocodiles are potentially dangerous too, although the American type tends to be much less aggressive than the African and Australian versions. An alligator swimming in Lake Alice, Gainesville, Florida. Alligators have an exceptionally powerful bite. They are naturally timid by nature, however, especially when compared with crocodiles, which tends to be more aggressive towards humans. Number 4. Wild Boars Wild boars are the descendants of escaped domestic pigs that were brought over by the Spanish, possibly as early as 1539. These intelligent, feral hogs can weigh more than 300 pounds and be very aggressive. Though they primarily attack when they feel cornered, they have also been known to do so without any provocation. Wild boars are omnivores, and will eat pretty much anything they can get their hooves on, even manure and their own young. They have a special predilection for newborns, and placenta and will make a beeline for places where they can smell them, often leaving ranchers stripped of their newborn stock before they can register what's happened. Number 5. Fish, barracuda and marlin can both cause potential harm to swimmers. Although attacks on humans by barracudas are extremely rare, they can be confused into thinking that people are prey by shiny things such as diamond rings. Marlins are also reputed to be capable of causing harm, especially to fishermen. It's not just the big fish that you need to look out for, however, the diminutive needlefish can be just as lethal. Though they typically weigh in at under a pound and measure just a foot long, their beak-like mouth is incredibly sharp, hence the fish's name. Though they aren't interested in attacking humans, that doesn't mean they aren't capable. They typically swim near the surface of tropical or mild coastal waters, but due to their slight stature, they are capable of brief flights or high-speed bounces above water when chasing or being chased, puncturing anything they encounter along the way. In 2010, a Florida kayaker suffered broken ribs and a punctured lung from an errant needlefish. <laughs>